Hear all those dudes in the background. That's what I get every time I open this game. <laughs> Best of luck. It's a diamond, baby! Yes, sir! <laughs> Dang. Another diamond baby not 73 with the trophy at 231. Okay, we're zero for 30. We gotta, we gotta wait for this intro. Yeah. Oh, oh, God. oh, dare I say, dare I say it. It's a diamond baby 193 trophy. <laughs> Yes, sir. Oh, 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 oh. Diamond Baby 982, yes sir! <laughs> Yes, Well, black screen's never good. What's going on, my friends? Holy, what a morning. That's right. We have the new map reveal. And you guys were right. It's Spain. That's right, my friends. We are going to the glorious hills of Spain to, uh, well, guys, to check it all out. We're going to go over it today. We're going to talk all about it. We're going to show some of what they showed on stream. Uh, get your guys' points and views, add a little bit of my own in there. We're going to talk about everything, everything we can think of. Try to answer all the questions. And uh, between this community, we got a general consensus, everything that's going on. It was such a treat to see this new map. Now, before we get started, elephant in the room, guys, PS4 is getting the lodge today. In fact, some of you have already got it. I did see some of our members in the barbershop, that's our Discord community, uh, have already received it. So it is rolling out. Thank goodness. Whew. Okay. <laughs> thought we were going to have to shoot that elephant in the room. <laughs> well, it's shot and we're moving on. Good to see everybody today. I hope you're as excited as I am. You know, it's always a good thing getting a new, any, any new content in this game. Let's face it. Anything at all. <laughs> give me give me anything. I don't care if it's quality of life, if it's animals, guns. Give me a new tree on Layton. I don't care. I just love getting new content coming in. And this one is a doozy. So a quick recap before we get things started. We're going to show a little bit of what they had. We're going to put their video up. I have their permission. I spoke with TK earlier. Uh, we're going to just show bits and pieces and talk about it. We are going to Spain. We are going to have a total of 10 animals that is correct there will be 10 species on the map now there are what some of you are going to say reskins they're not exactly reskins because it is what's there in the region there is red deer 
And I mean, who doesn't love Red Deer? Let's face it. Give us another map of Red Deer. I'm down. But that is the biggest, arguably the biggest animal on the map. Okay. We have the Red Deer and we have Wild Boar. They're both making a reappearance. We have Iberian Wolves. Okay. Now they're a little smaller than the Yukon variety, but they're a little more vicious. They were saying on stream, these things, man, alive. Oh, I can't wait. I just can't wait. They're going to they're gonna eat my beard. It's going to be all kinds of fun. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So red deer, boar, and wolves. But then this is where it gets interesting, guys. Oh, my goodness. You know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just going to show you. So what we're going to do, um, <laughs> sheep and goats. <laughs> Let's just, okay, stream's over. We got it all. No, sheep and goats. And, and really, that is, I think, what I'm most excited about. We've all been asking for it. I mean, I don't know how many streams I've been in where they're just like, oh, can we have some Ibex? Well, here they are. And we have the trifecta going on. It's, it's, or sorry, not the trifecta, the Grand Slam, because there's four different species of Ibex that are on this map. That is very, very, very cool. And we have a new weapon. That's right, we got a 6.5. So we're going to take a look at all that right now. We're going to go ahead and we're going to throw it up. I am on Layton, but we're not really going for a hunt. We're, we're just going to dissect all of this. So we're going to get our display capture rolling here. Uh, guys, are you not as excited as I am? I'm pumped. And will this ever stop ticking? <laughs> Seriously, claim your rewards. Okay, I'll go claim them, I promise. I, I've, I've claimed them. <laughs> okay, so we got the display capture lit. Let's go ahead and grab this window. And we'll pull this over here, uh, and we'll, we'll get rid of that, and put that up. Bam! There we go. Very, very nice. Very nice indeed. So, we'll give it a full screen. <laughs> Look at those smiling faces. I must say, the boys did a very good job today. Was quite impressed. Uh, they had a good time as usual. If you want to check out the original stream, guys, I highly encourage you to head on over to Twitch. And check them out, Expansive Worlds. They, I do believe it should be up already now on YouTube. It's on multiple platforms, so it's definitely easy to find. Uh, it's it's not that long, so you can definitely go and sit through it, but we're going to touch on some of the finer points right now. Uh, and the boys just look way, way too happy. Look at all you guys in chat. You're as excited as I am, right? I mean, this is pretty, this is big. We get a map that's pretty big, and the views on this are absolutely incredible. The map itself is, uh, uh, I mean, oh man, let's, let's just bounce ahead. Check it out. Check it out. Now, when I first saw this, I thought, wow, that, that's, that's Fernando. Hey, hey, Fernando, you know, with the colors and the look of it. But really, it's not. It's nothing like it when you get down to it. Now, it's comprised of four hills. They call it the four hills, and they will touch on it, but they're basically located around the map, as you can see, just like this. So the climate differs. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Let's just hit pause. Now, if you take a look, you can see the hills up top are a lot more sparse, and as you move down to where the lakes are, it gets a lot more, a lot more flora. It gets really dense. So, pretty cool. I know the beeps, right? I can't do nothing about it. <laughs> it's going to go on for the next 10 minutes. I normally start that and let it run through before we go live on YouTube or Twitch. But I had no options. I had no choice. I wanted to go live. I wanted to talk about this. I'm busting, man. I'm not even through my second cup of coffee. But look at that. It is so incredible. Up top there, man, it's it's barren. It's barren. There's there's cover. Obviously, I'm, I'm pointing at my screen. You obviously can't see my finger. So let's use the mouse. It's, it's obviously cover with these little bushes. But as you get down, it gets thick. So we're definitely going to have to figure that out and where to go and what to do and blah, blah, blah. Uh, oh, man. You know, I'm just going to mute that <laughs> desktop sound for now because we're not really using it, are we? Uh, I can still hear it in the background. That's bloody annoying. So there we go. There's the map, guys. Check it out. Check it out. Not a lot of water. Now, this map is built off the 16 by 16, but it is the 8 by 8, same as the other reserves, but there's more land mass. Now, you'll notice, because there's less lakes, there's less rivers. There's one river with three crossings. Now, they said there's two crossings and one top secret crossing. We're going to have to figure that one out together when the map comes out. So, you're on this side, you're on that side. What are you doing? There's like a line divide. Where are you going? But it's pretty cool. So, you got a mountain, a mountain, a mountain, a mountain. 
that's your high rise. That's that that's your low rise. Everything comes down to the water. So I can't wait to get out there and start prowling around on this thing. It's a gorgeous map. They said that this has the most land mass of any of the other maps, strictly because it's not covered. And I mean covered in lakes like Leighton and so on and so forth. Man, I tell you, oh, it, it's uh, it's something else. It really is. Yeah, the the beep is annoying. It sure is, Pexy. <laughs> I know, I know. You have to delete those chats. It's okay. Uh, it's something else. I but it's gone now, right? You guys can't hear it. I muted my desktop. So I'm really excited to get out here and to try this. We don't know our starting location. I imagine it's probably where they showed us right here with this beautiful promenade, this overlook of the land. But look at these fields, guys. It should make it a whole lot easier to spot this and to point this out, you know, or to point the animals out. I mean, it's gorgeous. Garrett, I love the farmlands, the mountainous regions. It's beautiful. I absolutely agree, man. Uh, it's something else, you know, and I, I just think that... Uh, well, you guys, like myself, are probably really looking forward to getting your hands on this. Now, there is, before we go any further, while they're talking and we're catching up here, um, there's going to be a reveal tomorrow on the release date and time. Guys, yes, sir. Make sure to check them out. They're going to let us know. I personally, I'm going to make a prediction. This map will be out before Christmas. It makes sense to me that it'll be out before Christmas. Uh, and, and they do go on a break over Christmas. So it would have to be out with enough time that if there's any bugs that they can quash them, right? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Now, I think they're about to go and show us the gun. There is a brand new gun. I don't want to talk about it until it's up. So we'll let them, we'll let them go ahead here. So if that's the case, if it comes out by Christmas time, um, the only thing we're not going to have, now let me just state this right away. There is true racks on the Ibex. Um, the, the goats and sheep both have the true racks, but the red deer do not. There is no, I, um, no, no true racks on them. The roe deer, I didn't mention the roe deer earlier. <laughs> I tend not to mention roe deer. Uh, they also have the true racks cause it's already in the game. So they didn't want to push it out. They, they mentioned that, you know, they're trying to do it right. They don't want to just. Here you go, and because like it's complicated with them, right? So here we go. We're gonna take a look at the guns now. Oh man, it's so nice to get another boomstick. Uh, and you know, it's it's gonna be a smaller rifle, as you can see. Ugh, look at that. I mean, look at that. The design. Uh, so this one here, it looks like it's gonna be an unlock through the storyline, much like we've seen on Fernando. Pretty cool. It is a level three rifle, so. Oh, it's got some big competition, man. Is this going to replace the Mosin? I don't know. I don't know. We're going to have to see, guys. Uh, we're going to have to see. Mm. It's gorgeous, though. Look at the shape of it. And it sounds absolutely on point. Yes, the Hunting Lodges are out today on PS4 Speed Racer. Uh, if you want to confirm with me, if you're able to get that. I know that Hendry, one of our members, was saying that he had already got it. And he was mentioning that in the stream this morning with EW. So if you haven't got it yet, they're rolling it out. And so bar none, any issues, you should have it in no time. I'm really excited. So it looks like we're going to get soft point and possibly polymer. Okay, so we do have polymers with this. Uh, and you can see the stats, mm, effective range up to 200 meters. So we should be able to double lung at 200 meters with the polymer. Uh, but you know, the thing with the soft point, uh, I don't know. I don't know. We're going to have to test them and we will do that the day of release. Oh, uh, let's see here. So we've got, he's got the gun. It's gorgeous. And they're going to head out and take a look and look at some of the, the landmarks on the map. I just think it, they've done such a nice job. Can you picture the Ibex crawling up there, man? Oh, I'm, I'm pumped. I'm pumped. <laughs> okay. So we're going to go ahead now. They do have some good encounters on stream. Again, I highly encourage you checking it out and seeing what they got going on. Uh, but the Ibex, the horns absolutely look incredible. You're going to get a peek here. Look at that. Look at that. Could you imagine a diamond hanging on your wall in the new lodge? Oh, oh, oh man. And that's a four easy. And you see how big it is? So confirmed, five medium is our diamond. That's what we're going to be looking for here. Five medium is the top of the Ibex chain. So we know we're going to have level nine legendary red deer. And we're going to have level nine wolves, but we have the Ibex sitting at a level one through five. They look gorgeous. Look at it down there. Look at that. It, oh man. This is what we've been asking for. 
I, I know myself I have been. I don't see any turkeys around here. But nobody dare mention turkeys. <laughs> Oh, right. I hear you. It's already my favorite map, too. This is in Spain, Jacob. Uh, it's it's awesome. Yes, they are using a dev kit, so they're able to fly around and take a look at the animals. Then they can uh, drop themselves on the ground and take a shot. This is simply an in-development build, as you notice in the right-hand corner. Things may change. Things may change. And, you know, they've, they've got to work this stuff out. So it, it's a nice tool. I, I like it for their streams because we can get a close-up look that, let's face it, for us to do that, it's going to be dead, man. It's going to be all kinds of dead on the ground. And we don't want to make everything dead when we're just looking at it. I mean, dead is dead is dead. But at this point, they're all alive. <laughs> Get them in front of me so we can make them dead. I'm loving this. I, I think that that right there, if you get a good feel on the type of landscape that we're going to be rolling around in. Lots of cover, you know, and... But enough that you can lose the animals and the ibex. You can see they're not really fast-moving animals by the looks of things. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. Zero to three hundred. Um, I think he was feeling a little pressure. The stream was packed, absolutely packed. TK's are way a pretty good shop. We are finally getting sheep. Wait, that is right. And no, no block, no, uh, no turkey. Look at the size of that man. Look at that. That's a four. Imagine what the diamond's going to look like. And these have true racks already. I mean, <laughs> they, they do look pretty good, Dal. I, uh, I, you know, they outdo themselves when they bring out the maps. You, you guys remember when Fernando came out, we were just stunned. When Africa came out, we were just stunned. Yukon, we're stunned. Uh, and, and with anything that comes out, there might be a few glitches here and there. But for the most part, I, I'm hoping it's going to be quite a solid release. Yeah, the new 6.5 is going to be fantastic. Uh, I, I, you know, um, we should actually, we should actually go back here. Let's see, where were where we? Okay, hold on. Let's, let's get some volume. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, I love these guys. <laughs> Here we go. Let's hear the sound of the rifle. No, I'm at the top of it. Sounds pretty good. Classic. It's man. got that. And that ting at the end of the reload and the shell coming out of the... Let's see. Oh, I'm, I'm drooling a little. Just, just drooling a little. Oh, whoa. Oh, yeah, there we go. That, that was that was a really big one there. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, that was the four, that was the four there. Sure that we saw a little bit of the... The more steep <laughs> next we're getting a bear <laughs> right on that i don't think there's going to be pre-orders yeah. jeffrey i i believe Classic the the name. idea here uh be, is it's going to launch here, and they said barring any problems, problems they want it out on all platforms rifle, so we'll cross our fingers on that uh, we can expect the map depending on where you live is going to be about between six and eight dollars depending on your currency <laughs> no, uh, same same as the other maps you know um the other maps we've seen in the past have been in that range I think it's a fair price for the amount of work that they put into it. Uh, so we are getting the map. For those of you that are just joining, we are getting the map. We are getting 10 species on the map. Sheep and goats being the newest to join the ranks of Call of the Wild. And we are getting a new rifle. It does not look, there was no mention of any new outfits or anything along those lines. Uh, they sure have, Matt. The last two look just fantastic. We do need turkeys, Brendan. We absolutely do need turkeys. I don't know if they have turkeys in Spain, but can, can we just import them? <laughs> you know, invasive species, here you go. <laughs> they won't have a chance to get invasive. I'm telling you, man. I've, uh, I've, my, my buddy's Spanish at the food they cook. Oh, my God. They wouldn't last long over there. <laughs> they get cooked up and put on a plate. Oh, my goodness, before they're a problem. Uh, uh, yeah, disappointed for me. Just put Ibex only new animals in the game. It's G. Well, G, I, I gotta be honest. I mean, Ibex and so there's, there's sheep and goats. So they're, they're both technically new. Um, but yeah, that, those are the only new animals that we're seeing here. There is rabbits. I'm not sure what they're going to call them. It's the Iberian wolves. They're a smaller variety of what you've seen on Yukon, but they're more aggressive <laughs> I'm just going to say it. Let's keep those need zones down, huh? We're going to have to keep uh, some nukes at the ready. If you know what I'm saying, TK was, was looking very nervous when he saw the wolves. So he's obviously had some dealings with them. And they indicated that they are much more aggressive than the wolves you see on Yukon. 
Guys, have you hung out with me on the Yukon and seen how many bites of the beer they've taken? For the love of Pete, I can only imagine, but it's going to be fun. James, I love the look of this terrain. Fully agree. Hey, Regale, how you doing, buddy? Hey, Clutch, how you doing, Mr. Tragic? Good to see you, man. Mr. Matt Collins. Lots of names in here. I haven't seen a lot of you guys in a little bit. Some of you have been joining us over on Twitch. If you haven't, guys, make sure to come and join us there. It's twitch.tv forward slash Jaxiebeard. Uh, if you don't see us here, then, then you know we're over there. <laughs> So, uh, guys, if you want to show a little support right now, perhaps you're just joining us, make sure to hit that subscribe button, tag the little bell beside it, do it with two heads if you gotta, and don't forget to come and join the Discord. Okay, so we're going to carry on looking at this. I mean, I just, I, I, I got up this morning, and I got up late, I caught the last maybe 15 minutes of the stream, I didn't even bother saying hello, I had, my eyes were still half shut, they were glued to the beard. And I thought, okay, I'm going to get a coffee and I'm going to go through this. Uh, and I did watch a good portion of it so I could get some information to relay to you guys when we started the stream. Uh, so some of this I'm seeing for the first time because I did jump around a little afterwards. Uh, I wanted to really discuss this with you guys. Look at that. Look at that. That's incredible. Let's turn the volume up for a shot. Maybe we get a shot here. And look at it in the background. A little tower there. That's awesome. Getting some uh, some monuments, some landmarks. Thank you very much, Matt. There's the link right there, guys. There's the link right there. If you oh, I talked through that. Let's let's go and let's just go. There's another little one down lower too. I'm gonna need to. I mean, looks pretty steep. Nice. That should have been a pretty good shot, I would imagine. So Fantastic. Is, uh, okay, you know what we got to do here, guys? Okay. Hold on one second. Here's what we got to do. <laughs> we got to get away from this pole. <laughs> I can hear it in the background. I'm going, Phew, what are you doing to me? We'll just run over here so we just don't hear that anymore. Okay. <laughs> I did have the hunter going on in the background. Yeah, uh, uh, there we go. Charles Cox just giving us a follow over there. We got uh, Tristan uh, Rawls with the subscribe here in the tubes. Thank you very much, my friend. Uh, so, yeah, so they can traverse areas that are steeper, but we should be able to always get to where they yeah, can take yeah, yeah, go. Well, I gotcha. So and there you go, guys. So that's something that they, they mentioned, and then I heard them talk about it at a different point in the video. And let's just chat about that for a second. Because one of the issues we've had in the past is animals clipping on the terrain. More to the point when they're going up the hillsides. They, they'd hit a rock and they'd kind of glitch on it. And I'm not saying that we're not going to see any of that. They've obviously got to work through it. But they've added, because sheep, goats, they like the steep terrain. So they, they go up on it, as we can see indicated here. <laughs> they, they will traverse it differently. So that's kind of cool and something to look forward to, right? Oh, it does. Now, the gun sounds fantastic, man. Uh, Wade's going to get eaten the minute he pops uh, on? Absolutely. Uh, yeah, so is uh, Alyssa. She's going to get eaten, too. I hear you guys. I'm hoping I get eaten right away as soon as I bounce on here, man. It's just oh, it'll be incredible. Yes, that's right. As Garrett Irwin has said, uh, tomorrow, guys, you're going to want to make sure in the morning that you're watching the social media. I didn't think that was that funny, guys, but okay. <laughs> uh, they're going to give us the date when this will be released. So here's the cross on our fingers. It's out before Christmas break. I know a lot of you get a break over Christmas, and I'm sure you'd love to spend your well, your holiday season on this lusciously warm-looking map. <laughs> yeah, 6.5. Uh, I, I'm pretty, I'm pretty impressed. I, I think it's going to be a really nice addition to the game. Uh, I'm hopeful that, uh, well, it sounds good. It looks good and it seems to drop them. Is it going to replace the Mosin? I don't know, man. That thing's got a permanent place in my bag. I kind of feel that the Mosin in the 30 on six is going to make this map screen. I don't think there's much need for anything else. 30 on six is enough on the red deer. Although you might want something just, just a touch, maybe a touch. Nah, it's not. Yeah, dude, we can. That thing hits like the seven mil. Okay, Clutch, so here we go. So we've got new sheep and we got new goats. And here's a new, well, it's a glitch. <laughs> they were kind of embarrassed about this one. Um, and then we've got, uh, we've got rabbits, we've got wolves, we've got red deer, we've got boar, we've got roe deer. Ten species in total. Now, four of those comprise the ibex. Uh, it's every species of ibex that are in Spain. <laughs> he was, <laughs> hey, doing a little dance. He was hoping somebody would make a remix. There you go, TK. That's the closest I get, buddy. Uh 
All right, Charles, sounds good, buddy. No worries. TNT, welcome. Le TNT Ledbetter. I like the Ledbetter. Very nice. Yellow Ledbetter. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's a 6.5. It's supposed to be like a Creedmoor. They're calling it... Uh, Oh, I forget what they called it, but it's a 6.5. This is what they're using right now. So it, it's akin to the Mosin. Um, it's, uh, it looks very versatile. We're going to have to try it out. It's a gorgeous model with a gorgeous sound, and that's really all we know at this point. Now, you can see the, uh, the modeling on these are just fantastic. I'm going to have to learn how to say all these names. The Besit? Is it the Besit? Look at that. That's just great, man. That's great. We're going to have to learn. I'm going to have to learn the difference between them all. Uh, how yes, the, the racks are displayed. Fantastic. And Sneakhead 4, can't wait to get a diamond of all Ibex species. Thank you so much for the 499 Super Chat, my man. Appreciate the support, pal. Yeah, I can't wait either. I, the Ibex is what's got me going the most. Goat and sheep, man. We've been asking for goats and sheep for how long? And we finally, finally got it. I'm, I'm pumped. So we're going to bounce around a little bit here. Um, I see we can get another look-see at the map for those of you that maybe are just joining us. Did I did I pass it? Are we not going to... Let's go back here. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Let's get that map on the hold. Once again, guys, so as you can see, and this is a beautiful layout of a map. For those that are just joining us, we'll get you caught up. It is Spain. We are going to have 10 new animals. Well, I, I should say 10 animals. Uh, we've got the Ibex. Uh, we've got the... I'm terrible with, with the sheep. Is it Florin? 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 It's the new sheep. <laughs> we got sheep and goats. <laughs> and we got ourselves rabbits. We got roe deer. We've got red deer. We've got the Iberian wolves. And they kind of got they got me a little bit excited. They they do because they're supposed to be aggressive. Uh, I it's it's incredible, man. I, I yeah, I'm I'm pretty pumped. But this is basically the makeup of the map. There's biomes all over here. We've got basically your biome differentiates between the hills. There's four hills: one, two, three, and four. Now. The hills, which we showed at the very beginning. Where are we right now? 34, 34. Let's go back to where they were looking. Where was he? Where was he? Right here. This was what we were showing earlier. Now, this is what you can expect. We've got fields down low. We've got the water down low with the, the thick flora around it. We're going to have to get used to hunting that, right? We're probably going to want some elevation looking down. Depending on the wind structure on the map, where we're going to be able to sit. I don't know. We'll have to see how that works. But then as you move up, it becomes more sparse. And I just think that's pretty cool. Mufflin, thank you. Mufflin, that's right. That's right. It's, we don't have them here. <laughs> you got to forgive me. It's a new species for me to hunt. I'm really excited about it. The Mouflon. Mouflon, right? Isn't that how we say it? Mouflon. I just think it's amazing. I, I can't wait to get my boob stick into them. But the fact that we're going to have such different biomes so close together, that's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool. And then we can move off into the fields. Ah, it's gorgeous. Like, look at that. They've outdone themselves. Okay, so we were roughly around here. Let's see. He's got another animal in front of him. And this is what we just saw, right? Yeah, we did just see this one. We do not have Spanish jerkies. No, we don't. Shane Wheeler, how you doing, man? Nice to see you. Crystal, hello. Welcome. Ah, well, man, yeah, Australia would be really nice. And, and I would believe that they will bring it to us. I think that eventually we will see Australia. They obviously have a roadmap on, on what they want to do. And we just got to trust in them that, you know, they've got a vision. And let's just follow it. Um We'll see everything eventually that we see in Classic, or there's a chance that we'll see it. They've said that many times. And here we are. So they're calling it the Martinson 6.5 millimeter Thunder. Pretty cool. The Hyperion's going to slap on that thing, man, alive. Yeah, and then the names and everything look good. I can't wait to see the outposts, the designs of all of them. They didn't show us too much. They're not giving everything away just yet. Ah. Uh. And James K's got a super chat coming through. You know what goes great with hills? A Barrett. <laughs> Absolutely. Does it ever. Okay. Thank you, Mona. So it's pronounced. Yes, Bisita. 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 Ibex. Okay. That is awesome. 
And thank you so much for that. That's wicked. Right on, man. You guys are absolutely amazing. I appreciate the support uh, and, and the hype because I'm feeling it. I'm glad you guys are too. All right, so they're going to roll around a little more. And we're going to see because I know they get on top of some more animals. Here we go. It's coming up right now. Let's give them some volume. Yeah. Look at these boys are having so, way too much fun, animals? man. Now, Look at the grand TKs like, actually, talking through a grand. Uh, here we go. What are we looking at? Why talking? Oh, here's the wolves. Is there anyone way to find out? I suppose. Uh, right, Bowman. So as Bowman says, the the mouflon have horns like a big horn sheep. That's why I just keep calling them a sheep. That, uh, we have the big horns here in British Columbia, sure and they look very, Take very keen to that. Warning. Little different horns. I think it. they're a little Good. tighter roll than what we have here. Set up now. So let's try. Very nice. Well, I see. I hit him. Yeah, you did. So the Iberian wolf, you can see the weights. They are definitely lighter than the Yukon variety. And I mean the Yukon. I love the wolves over there. I think it's one of the best additions to that map. So yeah, they're a little smaller here. Oh, but a dime is a dime is a diamond, right? Who are we kidding? <laughs> I'm pretty happy for it. But they may be smaller, but they're more aggressive. Now, I don't know how many we're going to have off the initial spawn, but I highly recommend don't stack too many of their need zones. <laughs> Watch the, the tracks the before you pick them up. That could Thank be interesting. Much, hey, the Brooksy clan is rolling. What's going on, Brooksy Angel? Good to see you. Welcome. Oh, you're Spanish mode. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, we we, we you got to be my uh, wingman we'll then. My wing woman. Ibex. Help me out with my pronunciations uh, during our streams. <laughs> It's a learning process for me. I'm just a simple Kanadian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll get a look at them here. He's going to head in a little bit closer. Look, he's nervous. This is me on the Yukon, man. I got the 454th already. I, mean, I don't know if you get integrity with the 454. Being that they're smaller, I would think that you wouldn't. I think it's very important that people see uh, the, the new... I concur. I, I concur. No one uses that enough, Pepe. <laughs> I concur, boys. Yeah. yeah, they should. I yeah. concur. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. It's down there. So. <laughs> All right. Let's yeah, see. We'll so bump ahead just a little. There it is. Hold on. Let's go back just a hair. So good. So. Yeah. Nice. So they look very similar. Maybe a little different. The fur seems a little bit tighter. This one was a five medium weighing at 40 kilograms. So I'm a little over halfway through the scale. I, you know, they're probably going to tap out around the 80 kilogram mark. Maybe a little shy. At the level 9 legendary, he shot it with 6.5, got full integrity. No worries. And they seem to pay pretty good, too, if you've noticed that right down there. And one thing we've seen on the maps, because let's face it, with the multi-mounts, the new lodge, money is an issue now. It never used to be, but money is an issue now. So, it's nice seeing that right there, knowing that we've got options. Yeah, <laughs> we got options. We're going to have to make cash. I mean, you yeah. know, Fernando is nothing Very but a moneymaker. Africa is yes, nothing but a moneymaker. Yukon is nothing but a moneymaker. So it's nice to see they're keeping with the trends on the maps. Variations as well, I guess. Oh, yeah, they should have a few. Future Soldier says the Lodge ain't out yet. I'm assuming you refer to PS4. They did state they're rolling it out, so it just might not be out in your region yet. Uh, they, But they did state on stream. It should be out today for everybody. <laughs> let us know eh? let us know if you're in my discord I, I make sure to let me know uh, if you get a hold of it Mr. B. So, Button Brand my man how you doing pal good to see you like good thing to about, see you we were just chatting uh, not too long ago what are the new animals for this well, map I haven't seen the stream yet cool. well John Doe in a nutshell we'll sum it up goats sheep yeah, roe deer red deer uh, boar and uh, wolves and rabbits. We got 10 in total. The Ibex comprise of four of them. So there's the southeastern Spanish Ibex. Uh, yeah, all going to plan. Uh, we've, it's all four species varieties that they have in Spain. So we get the Grand Slam, man. We're going to have to oh, yeah. literally get the Grand Slam diamonds hanging on the wall. Yes, sir. So, uh, this is what That's the plan. We're talking about. You remember the last two we looked at? This one's like covered in uh, like pine I'm doing trees. Pretty good, buddy. Uh, I'm doing pretty good. And so it's a lot harder to spot. Anything Robert J. Fishing, there. how you doing, buddy? How so you doing? Every, You're every so sick of wolves, red deer, and roe deer. Then this might not be the map for you, sir. <laughs> I'm sick of roe deer. I ain't gonna lie. The roe deer. I, I I get into them when I'm hunting them, just because you know it's you're hunting and you have fun. Uh, I'm probably the least excited about them, and maybe the boar because we've had a lot of boar on a lot of the maps, but I, you know, traditionally like tangoing with them because 
They're pretty aggressive. Well, they were aggressive at one point on Africa, yep. so we'll see what, how they behave on here. Ultimately, so, uh, it's uh, a sheep and a goat hunt. Will, Let's uh, face it. This is our sheep and uh, goat uh, hunting uh, map. Uh, <laughs> now, as they're just mentioning here right now, and I am going to just so I'm not talking over them. I don't like to be rude like that. Uh, they have mentioned, guys, that we are going to get more multi-mounts. Now, what you could expect from the multi-mounts, well, we don't know. They haven't shown us. They don't want to reveal that. And I don't blame them because the multi-mounts, what we have already are pretty cool. But they did state, and TK was, you, know, you, could, you could hear the grit in his voice. They are bringing out new multi-mounts, and they're pretty cool. But they didn't want to give it away. So, we don't know a whole lot about that. Uh, but you can imagine we're going to see a lot of the species. I would think a lot of the new ones will be based around this map to give the map some hype. No word yet if we're going to get any uh, any multi-mounts with Mies. I know some of you have been asking for it. I certainly have. I mean, my Mies, man. Come on. What, what am I supposed to do with them? Anyways, we'll see what they get. And hopefully we get her pretty, pretty soon. It does sound like a new multi-mount, doesn't it, Big Block? You know there's going to be one. Right, I'm going to call it right now. There's going to be a multi-mount that's going to have each species of Ibex. And I'm sure they're going to make it glorious. Brixie, how you doing? Good to see you. Oh, yes, be put in brand. Yep, yep, we have got sheep and goats incoming on this map. It's incredible. John Doe, they have not given us a release date. They did tease that we will get that tomorrow. They're going to post it on their social media. So if you're in my Discord, I'll make sure. Well, I, who are we kidding? Our, our community members are fantastic. They'll beat me to the punch. It'll be posted in our general Call of the Wild chat. So make sure to join the Discord so you can get that as soon as it comes out. Of course, follow these boys on Twitter and Facebook. That's where they're going to originally post it. We, we just do a repost, you know what I'm saying? You know? <laughs> uh, but that's that's the plan. So when we get that, we'll know, and we're going to plan accordingly. You know, Hopefully it's before Christmas. I don't think we're going to push into the new year. How do Bobby Dolan? What's going on, buddy? You've been tearing up King of the Kill, Mr. Nolan. Absolutely tearing it up good job just a quick round of applause here he's uh, been a recent king of the kill winner and uh he is constantly just tossing the beautiful kills in there and if you guys haven't seen it make sure to come check out check it out it's in the discord king of the kills a, a contest that we run it's for you guys it's to strut your stuff and show off your kills and he's been slaying yeah i hear you man so he says he's uh he's glad they added no, uh, road deer because now there's a map and it rains 24 hours a day so you can actually hunt them there is supposed to be rain though they did say that there is supposed to be rain. TK confirmed he's had rain while on here. It doesn't look like a whole lot. I can't imagine it rains a ton in Spain. You know, maybe in their off season a little bit, but uh, it doesn't look like it rains a whole lot. <laughs> oh, B Button, I, I didn't get to hunt this year. I'm still off work with an injured back. I missed the entire hunting season. It's a sore point. It's a sore point. Yeah. What do you do? Uh, Cody Bryant, hello and welcome. Good to see you. Future soldier who won King of the Kill. You're going to have to go and take a look, my friend. <laughs> I could tell you, but I'd ruin it. it. It's been a hell of a battle the last little while. Wow. Jaxie, what do you think we could see in the new year for Call of the Wild? I mean, I would love to say we're going to see turkeys coming. Sorry, expensive worlds. I don't mean to throw you under the bus, but I know everybody's asking for it. Maybe, maybe we'll see turkeys. Uh, I think we're going to see some bug fixes, I, and I would think that we're going to get some new species as well on the existing maps. Don't be surprised if we see new lodges come out in, in 2020. I, I think the future of this game is pretty promising. I mean, we already have a firm foundation, and they keep adding to it. There are obviously some bugs that need to be addressed, and there's some issues with, you know, releases on all platforms and stuff that I think that, you know, they'll get better at and as we go. Uh, but, yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty hopeful for 2020 in this. Family's doing fantastic. Legend Godzilla. Hello, Godzilla. How you doing? They're doing great. Mrs. B's pretty pumped about this. Um, there's still a few more that we're going to we're gonna get to here. I'm just kind of letting them play while I'm chatting with you guys. And you can take a peek at this gorgeous landscape. You can see the cover we're going to get from all of these different little bushes and trees. So, you know, but the problem is the line of sight when we're on these slopes. Look, it dips down. You, you don't have hundreds of meters your your first look from a distance i want to go up there but then you get up there and it's broken 
by the rise and fall. It's going to be a challenge. We're going to have to learn how to hunt this, find your favorite areas and what ridge lines to work. I, I'm sure that we're going to get her dialed in pretty quick, but it's still, it's going to be fun trying to figure that out. Uh, breaking the line of sight with these bushes, I think is quite clever. Otherwise, being that open, it would be just too easy. So it gives you the impression of nice, big, easy, long shots, but it does not look like that's the case. Not at all. K-Town, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Tinsley Mitchell, uh, looking for some Bigfoot? I hear you. I hear you. I, I, I got size 13s. Don't shoot me, man. I'm just, I don't know what to say. <laughs> uh, let's see. How do you Bobby Nolan I have? Yeah, you won King of the Kill. Um, was that the week before? Was that last week? Your name was all purple in the Discord. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh. Oh, damn, going to have to send you some of my deer meat. Yeah, my, my boys got me covered. They got me covered. I got a box of meat incoming. Uh, yeah, it's unfortunate. Normally, the freezer gets filled, and I'm all out of meat. <laughs> you know, I, I'm going hunting over at Safeway at Sobeys. Fake Chow, how you doing? Welcome. Good to see you, man. Thanks for coming out. I know that church looks gorgeous, Mona. I, I, I didn't want to say too much about it because I thought, you know, that's one of the first places I'm going to head to when we get on this map. I, I love the castle on Hirschfeld, and it's something I've always really liked. And I think that they're adding landmarks like that really gives you the feel of being in Spain because they have stated this is not set on any specific location. I'm, I'm, I'm doing air quotes right now. Air quotes. Specific. It's it's based off the region, which is what they like to do with their maps, right? So that way, you know, no copyright infringement or any of that crap. So it looks like they're, they're after a, uh, the Spanish Ibex right now. Looks like he's tracking on that. 61 to 74 kilograms. So they're not huge. He ain't going to see this. It's old. That that was in my game, not in here. You just heard the bark? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Joe Bello, I think the stands are going to work so incredibly well on this. I, I'm really pumped. Here we go. We should. I don't know if it's a bigger one or not. Playing. That's a level three. Let's head over there because of the way the wind is and stuff. We should be able to like find him back over that ridge. I think there. Yeah. Hmm. Good spotting. Pitch. Sounds good, Alyssa. You have yourself a fantastic. <laughs> I'm covering so much of my face that it's pretty much impossible for me to miss. <laughs> Mr. Hendry, hello, buddy. How are does, you? Does it count as hack? Crazy eight eight seventy three. Right, What's right. going on, man? How you doing, Perfect. crazy? Gotcha, good gotcha. to see you, Joker. I'm hello, hello. All is well, my friend. All is really well. I'm sitting here having my coffee with so you guys. So the new gun is a 6x5 uh, caliber, and it's a class 2 weapon. It's perfect for this map. Class 2, but uh, it's in class it's got, 3. Yeah, it's really, really fun. Got a good rate of fire and nice power to it as well. So, 49 minutes. Let's go um, back and take oh a look yeah, here. I am certain campaign coming with this. that said class 3. I like true, this one. True flag. True flag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> true flag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these boys just have way too much fun. The mission, That's awesome. All the spoilers are off. Okay, so it, yeah, no, it's a weapon class three. Server. No missions, are, you know. He might have just been mixed up. Don't, don't, hold to don't hold him to that. Don't hold him to that. Let's go back here. Yeah, yeah so um, pretty much, so pretty much the same as the Mosin, right? mess up. Here we go. So, Ian Robertson, hello and welcome. Back to and well, it's attached. Let's say that. Let's just say it's attached. I'm still off work, unfortunately. So um, as sack. I'm getting better, they don't have the work right now, yes. being the off season. So I, I, I like might that, be that, around uh, a little bit more again, right? some good which is good. But we'll, we'll see. Really it's back. still there. I have my limitations. I I can't drive very far, very and cool. I can't lift or anything yet. But I'm I'm mobile. I, I can like move it. around. I can pick things like off the bottom shelf. Like the kids can't hide stuff there anymore. All right. It's going to be lots of fun, JB Monster. I'm I'm JB. I'm man. You can hear the grin on my face, right? I love this stuff. Hey, scumbag! Thanks for the subscribe. I, I missed you there three minutes ago. Welcome to the community, my friend. Look at this map. It's gorgeous, man. It's gorgeous. You know we're going to work those hills. So the animals, and here's how I see it. This is what I think is going to play down. We know the animals. They path. They have their roots. They like to go. So they're going to come down. Let's just let's use where they are right now. The Ascenso del Peregrino. 
Peregrino. <laughs> I got to get better with my pronunciations. Good Lord, Beard. Uh, but you can tell. So what will happen is they're going to come on. They're going to move up and down these mountains. They're going to go up and down. That That's going to be the gist of it. They, You know, they're going to come down to, to drink and feed. They're going to go up to rest uh, and, and see them on the terrain. I mean, I don't know if you're going to be able to work from these back ends here and look up. Well, probably more like here. And look up and see them. If you're going to have to plant up top, maybe put a stand up here. Where are they going to go? They've got so many options around each hill, right? I mean, it's it's so uh, like through cool. this way. Yeah, and yep. then we go north and kind of wrap it up by the. Uh, did we get an actual name? In, uh, we know that yeah. the map is Spain. Well, wait, did it, where's my, there it is. This way. That's a good question. Yeah, so these. That's a good question. We'll go back and we'll take a look and see. Uh, I don't so believe they gave the actual name of it. Oh, was I looking at the weight of the gun? I was looking at the weight of the gun, wasn't it? Jesus. This is really nice, though, how you see how the terrain is changing. Was I looking in the bottom right next to the weight? <laughs> and I called that the weapon class? That's what happens when you're watching things and you're only on your second coffee. Hilarious. Trying it out. So it was an average weight. Mine was a super fast travel. Yeah. Like Look at this map. Oh my right. god, that is just unbelievable. And then into the fields. Like, look at this over here. Look at this. Yeah, sure. Why not? And you make great helicopter sounds. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Gorgeous. Have you a voice actor? No. A helicopter. Uh, yeah. A helicopter. I, what if I do? I'm a professional helicopter actor. A what? <laughs> See, they're having way too much fun so here. So we have uh, some camcorder. <laughs> Here, and then some, uh, olive oh, Scumbag, you just found out about it a few yeah, days ago. Well, hey, man, welcome yeah. to the game. Make sure to come and join our Discord yeah, if you're looking for some tips, tricks, or hunters. Do you have any questions ago. or anything, man? Yeah, uh, we got fast. a lot of yeah, great, great yeah, folks yeah, that yeah, love to help. Uh, love to get out and uh, help stack your maps yeah, with need zones. <laughs> North, what's going on? I'm doing great. <laughs> nice, I gotcha. Well, well, <laughs> Godzilla, you said a dream. You were hunting on this map. Yeah. Hey, Mr. John's lurking. How you doing, buddy? Stroll through these. Did you watch the reveal, Sean? Can you can you imagine? I can't wait to get out here, man. I just think it's going to be fantastic. Future Soldier, thank you so much for the subscribe, buddy. Greatly appreciate you. Welcome to the community. Also, Bobby Nolan says he can't wait to hunt the European rabbits. Hopefully they add the feature from Classic where you can sit on top of a rock. When they climb out of their hole, you can yep. blast them. Hey, if they had... I don't know. I don't think there's any burrows added yet. That would be pretty cool, though, wouldn't it? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, then you have the I wonder if we can get olive fields or olive, olive trees. Uh, Guys, if you haven't done so, you can see in the chat there, Mr. Matthew Armitage yep. has gone ahead and added the invite to the Discord. If you guys haven't done so, please come and join us. Oh, tons of Xbox players. <laughs> tons. <laughs> Absolutely. we got players on all platforms, which is pretty nice. And it's a good time to join. Uh, we've got a pretty big event that's going to be starting pretty soon in the barbershop. And it's uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. And it's all for you guys. You like King of the Kill, you might like this one. <laughs> Sparky Ohms, hello, hello. Welcome. Hey, surprising. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you, man. Is it only possible to hunt goose and duck with DLC? No, you can hunt them without it. But so, uh, you do need the DLC here, for we, the gear. We're, we're the animals are always free. When they add animals, they're, they're always free. It's an update. Uh, but if you want to get the gear uh, that goes along with all that, then yeah, you got to get the, the DLCs. Next, DLCs are nice next. and cheap, though. And you, you've got the option, depending on what you have. Uh, the 2019 version gets you caught up all the way to the ducks. No, we haven't either. That's it's it's a pretty good deal, to be honest. Yeah, I think that's my favorite. Sparky yeah. Ohms, hello, welcome. Yeah, the, uh, an the Xbox player, player. not Zach, five, also yeah, an really Xbox cool player. Impressive. I'm telling you, we got a lot of Xbox players in our community, especially in our Discord. Yeah. Lots of PS4, too. Impressive. And, of course, lots of PC. Well, let's face it, we've got all platforms. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, I think that's the, the technical. Oh, term. Mona, yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, okay. Exactly. So, Peregrino means pilgrim, which makes sense. So Pilgrimage, they've got the... Here, yeah. The, um, uh, I mean, so, so would, would you call it a church? Is it a mission? What uh, it would be a church, right? It's not an abbey. That's a much more British, guess, British so thing. It could be anywhere on those hills. Oh, yeah, cross platform would be great, Tensor. I fully agree. You know, the, the problem is the game has been released, oh, yeah. and, and then, um, then distance, I don't see yeah. them doing a cross platform. It'd be very expensive. I would love it if they did. It would make my life a whole lot easier. I've got it on uh, soon to be all platforms. I'm about to pick it up for PS4. 
for this event okay, coming up we that we're doing in the barbershop. But otherwise, I've got it on Xbox and, play, and uh, PC. Fresh and, and really, you know, PC is where I, I game on it mostly, so that's where I'm built up. No. So this one's a little bigger, fresh the Gredos yeah. Ibex. Gredos. Has anyone got some fresh poop? Yeah. Wanted to buy fresh poop. <laughs> <laughs> what a time to pay attention to what they're saying. Has anybody got fresh poop? Wanting to buy yeah, yeah. fresh poop? Oh, go. TK, okay, you rock, yeah. brother. Speaking of uh, getting old, it's uh, uh, Phil's That's today, hilarious. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fear so, the uh, beard, you know. dirty little deer. Mr. <laughs> Austin <laughs> Bennington, it has been a while, my man. I haven't heard that. Yep. yep, now fear oh, the really? sheep, because <laughs> they lie in a heap, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're well, going to be just ripping them up. Uh, Phil. Yeah. And we didn't know. We didn't even know. Oh, embarrassing. <laughs> well, well, I'm very... What's that, Jeffrey? What am I? What do I need to answer well, for? Now the, the now if Jackson oh, yeah. doesn't answer, I'll give you a list it's after a bit. Forever. What are we looking for, buds? Right. Where are you, Ibex? Uh, if you're looking for any help, guys, we do have a lot of spreadsheets. Um, in fact, Aaron has done a very nice Somewhere. recent spreadsheet yeah, that's love, fully updated. Gives you weights, integrities, oh, yeah. everything. Everything you need to know, it's all on there. Thank you. Uh, and that's in our Discord. There's a specific channel Talk for all of that. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I was going to say 25. <laughs> Focus, Kurt. Well, yes, sir. Yeah. Stay, yeah. Stay focused, man. Stay focused. Brooksley with the donation through the super chat <laughs> from your girl, Butterfly. Where are you, oh, I Thank you, Butterfly. You're a darling. Appreciate the support. Bad, right? David Conway, welcome. Welcome and hello. Uh, Sky Strider, hello to uh, you. Uh, Jeffrey Myers wants a list of animals. Well, there's four different variations of of the Ibex. Uh, and it's all the ones that you will find in Spain. So we got the Grand Slam waiting to happen. We've got the Mouflon, which is a uh, gorgeous looking animal. We'll see more of them here coming up. And then we've also got the Iberian Wolves, which is awesome they're a little smaller than the yukon variety yeah. but they're more aggressive <laughs> rip me <laughs> you know what's happening uh we've also got red deer we've got another appearance of the red deer they are the biggest species on the map we've got roe deer and then we've got rabbits i haven't seen any of the rabbits i don't know what the hairs look like or what they're called uh did i miss anything there guys i think i got it all right there's 10 in total uh but four of those being made up of the different variations of ibex i think that's so cool man Shin Twitch, a good year. Hello and welcome. Uh, thank you for the follow on Twitch. Martin Venter is just subscribed. Welcome, my friend. Great to have you with us. Like in uh, New Zealand now. Right now, crazy. They're more or less moving around with their their camera tool. It is a dev tool showing off the map. They're looking for animals. <laughs> you know, I mean, let's face it. They don't even know where all their animals are yet. This map is so fresh and so new. You know, we've got the devs showing us, but they don't know where they're going to be. There's RNG to that, right? They've spawned, they move around, they've got to go and try and find them. But the advantage to this, this is, is uh, we're getting the birdiful, the birdiful, we're you know, getting like the birdiful bird thigh view that we don't normally get. It looks pretty fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's pretty cool, man. I ain't even going to try and pronounce that. Like, look at that. It's, oh, and all the watering holes. So we know that, how are we going to hunt this map? Let's talk that, because that's kind of cool. We know we're going to do the morning hunt. So we're going to get out there, figure out their need zones when they're drinking. But the beautiful thing about this because of the way these biomes oh, yeah, yeah, work, yeah, yeah. I believe I, you're going to see them go. Yeah, yeah. There's one right there. They're going to go right from the so, drink, and they're going to go up. There we go. There's another yeah, one. Oh, uh, they're gorgeous. Twist, right? Yep, and you can see the horns right are a lot thicker in the, the base, actually, as well. Jeez. You were right at the bottom having a sun. There's, like there's, there's they're the dire. Uh, I just want to yeah. shoot these things, man. Look at them. Conveniently by bushes, too. Just to, So they're all true racks, except for the red deer. So that one. Imagine what the difference is. I want to get the Ibex together so we can see yeah, so the different horns uh, and, and, and actually a get a real good feel what they look like. That's thick. The, uh, that is thick. I think they get quite look long at the ridges. Um, yeah, no, we near as long. Turn that like that one there. Just yeah, a yeah, little. That's a beautiful one. Look at the ridges on it. That's going to look so good in the new Safari Lodge. Oh, they're European hair. Thank you, Godzilla. Greatly appreciate that. <coughs> Jack Speed in the new gun is a 6.5. It's uh, basically to replace the, the Mosin, is, is I think their, their intention. And there's a 4 easy, so as you can see, the Ibex are going to go up to a 5. Aaron's spreadsheet is awesome, Big Block. He did a lot of work on it, man. He spent a lot of time. I, I was pretty impressed. Dylan Fetter, good morning to you, sir. Welcome. Get a coffee and you get caught up. Check this out, brother, man. It is incredible. The other one's like, what? 
Look at that. Look at look at that. Gorgeous. Maybe I don't have the health perk on, but it doesn't look like he's going down. Wow. Oh, put another one out there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe I don't have the health perk on, but it doesn't look like he's going down. You get a lot of arrow in his lungs. Sounds like the Mosin, doesn't it? It really does. It's got that crack whip. That crack whip that the Mosin has. Oh, it does. Martin Vetter, it looks so sick. I need to go back further. <laughs> Crazy, what's a mob boss? No, we'll <laughs> hmm. <laughs> you know, oh, did, no A big, so like, ten times the, the size oh. red deer or something. Oh, just, yeah, <laughs> snarling at you. I think the U6.5 looks pretty good, Sparky. I, I, I'm definitely looking forward to trying yeah, it. Yeah, so where do we hit the... So here we go. Here okay, we go. So Let's wait for him to uh, yeah. give us a better view well, again. I don't know, actually. Just skim oh. this We're going to pick this one apart just a yeah. little bit. Um, yeah, anyway, so there we go. Yep. Oh. Beautiful. Look at that. Yep. There we go. Gorgeous, gorgeous detail on the animals. I mean, <sighs> sinewy. It's It's got the muscle tone. They did a real nice job with the fur. I Honestly, it's the horns that do it for me. The faces, they, they look kind of cute. <laughs> you know, they look great at your wall. But more importantly, to the point, we're looking at a level 4. So, confirm these will go to level 5 for a diamond. This one's at 95.75. It looks like a pretty decent size set of horns, but not the biggest we've seen yet. And I would imagine that the Ibex will vary on their weights, being the four different species. I would think this one, if that's a level four, this one's going to break 100 kilograms, maybe 105, somewhere around there. Well, I mean, time will tell and we'll have to see. You got a lot of money there, TK. <laughs> you got a pretty bank account. <laughs> Dev tools are fantastic. Uh, but I think that's pretty cool. And it's a nice indication of what we can look at. Getting into their trophy ratings and their true score would, off would be awfully nice. But what I want to point out, and this is something that I was hopeful that everything on this map was going to be you know, worth a lot of money. $884. Level 4. Now, he didn't have his quick kill. He didn't have his integrity. He didn't have his consecutive. So that will go up. That will go up. But by how much? It's interesting. It's interesting. Paul Farrington, the Lodge so is actually again, being rolled out today uh, for PS4. They announced that on this stream. Right, uh, oh, so let me know in the Discord mean, if you do get your hands on it. I know some of our PS4 right, users right. have already got it. I would just Beautiful. say it's a region thing and where it's going to hit first. But they did state that it should be out for everybody yeah. today. Thank right, goodness. Right, so that leaves one more Ibex. Mona uh, says uh, we, Spain uh, actually is derived from the meaning we, land of the rabbit. Oh, I didn't yes, know see, that. Yeah. If we can find Mufon, let's do Mufon. Really? Okay, that's pretty cool. See, you learn something every day, and I like to think I'm a reasonably knowledgeable guy. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's do that one more time. Different curls and stuff. Gorgeous. It's a nice symmetrical one, actually. Gorgeous. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. I agree, TK. That I'm good. so excited right, about these Ibex. Right, so that leaves one more Ibex. Rip yeah, the bows in. Yeah, uh, might be bad. Might be. No, cat kid, no birds. Unfortunately, yes, no birds. Yes, if yeah. we can find Mufon, let's do it. Not yet. Fun. Maybe that's something they could add, right? Oh, Check it out. Look at this. Look at this. This is a fast helicopter. This is the wow. that you guys Wow. Look at the big the fields down game, here. <laughs> Those are going to be yeah. fun. Quarry, I'll bet you they're a hot spot, especially with this quarry. What? There we go. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. Wow. I almost need to see it from the player's perspective as well. Just yeah. to see the size. Should we go right down here? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, man. We're going to take a quad right off the side of that thing. Look at the size of this place. Seriously. That's a marble quarry, is it? Yeah. <laughs> it it's not. Uh, oh, Mona, that was my fault. you are done it wrong. Geeks will rule the world one yep. day, my dear. Uh, Rule the world. <laughs> it feels like it uh, like needs to be some giants or uh, something like battling over there. David Conway, welcome. Well, hey, man. City. Better yeah. better uh, yeah. late than yeah. never, my yeah. friend. Uh, yeah. So they're going to give us a reveal Basically tomorrow on the date of yeah. release. They're going to post and it to their social yeah, media. Yeah. We will immediately update everybody in our Discord, so make sure you're in the Discord to get the news ASAP. A ASAP. I'm going to predict that we will see this before Christmas. It makes sense to me. Yeah. Right? Because then they can put the game on sale, so Christmas sweet. presents, yeah. the map, Christmas presents. So Let, let's face it, it would, it would be a savvy mood, move. Um, but they do take a break over Christmas, so yeah, mm, 
I mean, hey, it looks like it's in a very very playable state. I personally would not be surprised oh, if we we've got this within yeah, the second week in December. Uh, and that gives them two weeks to flesh out any bugs. It's probably going to be more like the third week, I would think. Whoa, hey. <laughs> Dev tools clipping through the map. Look at that. Look at that. There you go. So unlike the other ones, they had like a, a really nice kind of now. I twist you know back into them. these ones kind of twist let's, out. Let's let's be real, guys. Let's be real. I mean, they're gonna work on it, but one of the issues I've had in the past is the clipping through the map. And here we are, the animal. It is clipping a little through the map. It's because of the terrain, and I get it. That's got to be hard to work out. So let's not you know bust on them too hard. <laughs> Said somebody else there. Run YouTube beard. Watch yourself. Um, I, I, if if that's all we have to deal with, I mean, it looks pretty solid. During this whole stream, an hour and 15 worth, we really only saw one animal glitched, and they went around and looked at a lot of animals. I think this map is in a very playable state. I expect to see this yeah, uh, very, very soon. And these are uh, the... Broken Wing, how are you, my man? Good, good to see you. Flax, what's going on? Yeah. Welcome. Thank you for Welcome. coming out. Darren L, hello, hello. You better join the streams, tips and tricks, videos on YouTube and Twitch. You have the game, most of the DLCs, which you enjoy playing when you can. Hey, buddy. Hope you get lots of time to play it. Um, I'd love to see your kills. Post them in King of the Kill. Golds are better. We want to see them all. Like, I want it to take us an hour to do King of the Kill. An hour to go through and sort through all the kills. You know? And that's what that's going through all throughout the week. <laughs> and, and clicking on them, Chaz loves king of the kill she wants to see your diamonds and golds she goes in there and marks them all that's how you know it's been seen she goes in and marks them all she'll put a little gold emblem or a little diamond emblem and then i go through and i mean i'm looking at everything i can't help it i, I just love seeing the animals and when this comes out king of the kill is going to be off the hook six months you need to find some mouflon yeah we hey, Ben and cheers to you my friend i've still got a coffee going right here and a little sip of my coffee actually go to I think you have yeah, right. I think it's coming, man. I think it's coming out to, real, real like, quick. Tis yes, 100 Spain. Yeah, but buddy, look at it. There, look at it. We got sheep and goats now, man. Little, <laughs> That's, I, I don't so care. I couldn't care yeah, if it was a map inside a warehouse. <laughs> We got sheep and goats. Let's let's just take a look here, though, and see. Like that's a gorgeous, gorgeous view. Obviously, on their load screen, uh, the, the fields, the variety. Look at the outposts. They, they've really done a nice job on this. Now, I know some of you might be a little disappointed. You wanted Australia. Uh, some of you wanted. I mean, there's all kinds of on the list. I mean, we hear it all the time in my streams. And I agree with you. I agree with you. It'd be great to see Australia. That's one of my personal requests and and one that i get an awful lot but you can't fault them this is gorgeous man this this just i i think they've outdone themselves look at the scenery man i mean when i think of spain i think of a gorgeous area with big beautiful stone structures from back in the day with history you know this beautiful climate and i feel they've captured it I mean, it looks really good. Mona, you could probably tell us better than anyone else. And maybe someone else who's living in Spain, you know, would okay. say the same. But does, to me, in my mind, that looks like Spain. What a secret. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're talking about the crossings now. So there is a secret crossing. It's obviously something to do with the story. But the fact that we've got the four hills in the corners of the map, that's a good size looking row. Good row there as well. even said it. That is a good size looking row. Uh, right. <laughs> so we're kind of <laughs> and there we go. This is, hey, we're in Hirsch. <laughs> oh, yeah. So the red deer, I don't expect really any variation difference. They've held pretty consistent the whole way through. From what we've seen on uh, on Fernando has been very true to form of what we've had on Hirsch. So I expect that to be the same yeah, here as well. Oh, well, future soldier. Soldier. <laughs> soldier. <laughs> Rattlesnake hunting. I don't think of it very much, let me tell you. Should I do a quick recap? <laughs> yeah, do it. I'm not a hit fan us, of hit snakes. Us with the recap, oh, man. Oh, I, 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 I will say I, I will shoot them if I ever come across them because we do have them where we where we hunt. So, fortunately, we don't see them when it's when it's in the cold. But at the beginning of our hunting season, it's an issue. It's the Iberia. David Conway looks like a much larger map than the last two. So they did state, David. So it's, it's based off a 16 by 16 frame. We have an 8 by 8 So it's the same as the other ones, but there's more landmass. This map has the most landmass because it has the least amount of water on it. 
yeah. Beer and so the overall map, I think they're always going to be the same actual dimensions, but it's what they do with it. Now, the fact that there is more landmass, that just means more area to hunt, right? I think that's pretty fantastic. I really like how they did that. I think that it's clever because, hey, they know what works. Right? They know what works as far as size. But give us more land, that's just more room for the animals to run, <laughs> to lay down, to die down. <laughs> it is beautiful. Looks very similar to the Argentina. So I, when I first saw it, I thought, wow, we're on Fernando. When they first show the fields in the very beginning, it's like, wow, this this is Fernando. But look, it's very, very obviously different. I mean, I think maybe they took that basis and they've they've worked with that. So you you could very much be on point there, my friend. Look at it, it's gorgeous. Wow. Which is my wow animal on this reserve. That's why we Which, saved it for last. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody with me? Turkey. Say turkeys if we want turkeys. Uh, that's, that's awesome. Yeah. I think it's, I think uh, turkeys are the most requested. Yeah, the most I, I really thought we'd have them by now, myself personally. It's a sore point for them because if you mention turkeys in their stream and Graham's there, he'll rip you a new one. <laughs> yes, but it's a thin horn. That's right. Uh, it's a thin horn. So we are going to see a difference. They just confirmed it right there. Ah! Why did my no, phone just I start going? We will see a difference in the horns. Which is Hello? pretty cool. Are oh, here we go. Are they hunting? No. Oh, that's a muffler. Is that's it? Yeah. Here's all the muffler. And here we go. Here's a good look at them. Look at the... Oh, look at the curly cues. Look at that. I just said they were thin horns. So was the... That's gorgeous. Look at the markings on them. Yeah. That is beautiful. They got scared. It does feature soldier. It looks like a lot of a, of, of a number of maps put together. The Louisiana Australia map would be great, Mr. Nolan. It really would. That one there in the front? Hey, no worries. Six R4 has just joined us. Uh, we have a, a total of 10 different animals. We have a variation of Ibex. There's four different species, all which can be found in Spain. We got the Grand Slam, baby. We've got the uh, Flood. Uh, he dies a few times here. We'll just we'll save his embarrassment. It just it glitched on him. Uh, we have uh, the Mouflon, so we've got sheep and goats. We've got the roe deer, red deer making a reappearance, and the boar making a reappearance. Uh, we've got a variation of wolves, um, the Iberian wolf, which is smaller than what you have on the Yukon, but is more aggressive. <laughs> That's kind of exciting, right? More aggressive? Oh, man, alive! I can only imagine. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, and did I miss something there, guys? There's 10 in total. So four of the Ibex. The uh, Mouflon is five. Red deer. Roe deer. Uh, European hares. The um, wolves. And there's another one. They said 10 in total, right? There's one more. What am I missing, guys? What am I missing? I think maybe that's it. Is there only nine? I feel like there was ten. <laughs> Swans. <laughs> polar bear would be great, crazy. I would love to see some polars. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Fill up the freezer with mouflon mutton. Mm. Fake Chow says, how about, how about stop adding stuff and fix the game altogether instead of adding more stuff to break the game because I'm tired of losing diamonds and blue screen and are getting disconnected. Okay. Let's touch base on that. I agree. Fake Chow hit on a bit of a nerve for some of you uh, and for myself. This is a game where they have built the engine from the ground up, the Apex open world engine. So they're working it out as they go. And we see bugs. We do. It, it happens. We've all had the frustrations of losing a structure to beavers that we don't get to shoot. Oh, kill those beavers and I read the chats. It's frustrating. We've had glitches. We've had animals glitch. We've had crashes. Now, a lot of games, you're going to have problems. They have tried. They have tried to address them. But the problem is with an, an, an open world, ever-changing game like this, as they add more, it affects other things. Now, I'm not telling people to be patient. But if you really do have a love for the game, maybe you're a hunter Maybe you just have an infatuation with it. Um, I've come to understand the trials and tribulations that they're up against. 
and them trying to keep us happy and at the same time create a business that will sustain itself and keep them all employed. It's got to be hard. Now, I know that with everything, as we see new content come out, we'll hit play. They tend to give us um, bug fixes thereafter. Patches come out. All we can do is cross our fingers and hope that it happens. Now, would I like them to stop and cease all future content until they fix everything in the game? Perhaps. But that would mean we wouldn't get any more content and things might get a little stale. And then when we do get the content, half those things might break again. So it's something we have to resolve ourselves to, I believe. And maybe that's not the comment you want to hear. But if you support the game and you support them, I think it's important that um, that we keep an open mind. I've taken a break in the past because of the problems with the game. I had to come to terms with that. Um, all in all, I, I have too much of a love for the game, too much of a love for the sport. Uh, and, I, and I love these guys. I think they're just absolutely fantastic and they're doing their best. I don't discredit anyone's feelings and I fully agree with you, Fake Chow. Fully agree. It's a little frustrating at times. I want to do. I want to do address that. In all honesty, it's something I've wanted to talk about and bring up, but it's kind of that elephant in the room that we don't get to shoot. Give us an elephant to shoot, please. Uh, you know, so it, it, it's a thing. It's a thing. I feel your pain, but we're in it together, baby. We're in it together. Your glitches are my glitches. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? And we just carry on. It, it's all we could do right now. Well, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's a family show there, DK. Keep that butt off the screen. Be the game warden. I hunt to hunt poachers in multiplayer. You want to hunt? No. <laughs> James Bevan. Absolutely. That would be, that'd be a nice side mission, right? I mean, they kind of have that with Hope's Cap and stuff over in, uh, in Layton. But yeah, I, I agree with you, man. There are new multi-mount. On UConn, I had a tent destroyed on a bridge. Well, Bobby Nolan, there's trains. <laughs> Radio, ladies and gentlemen. I, I've had it happen too, though. I, I really have. Yeah. Uh, it is a, a very small development team. That's right, Ryan. It is. And, and you know, although they're adding to it because the game is growing, um, it's not exactly an indie studio, right? So there is a better quality than what you would get if it was an indie game. I mean, we could all just go play Hunting Simulator because that sucks. <laughs> Sorry. If anybody likes the game, I apologize. I can't stand it. Uh, DH1 and only. And only. And only. Hello. Hello, my friend. Welcome. Thank you for the subscribe. It's great to have you with us. Not as bad as some other games. That's right. And and that's the thing. There are a lot of games out there, uh, even AAA titles that come out and have all kinds of bugs. You know, it's part of gaming. Uh, but us, you know, we spend our money and we feel that, you know, things should be better fleshed out. And so it's right on all points. I feel their pain. I feel our pain. Um, we just need to give the animals pain with the Boom sticks. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Killer yeah, Cog, what's going down, buddy? Good to see you, man. Thanks for coming out. All right, Soul guys. Eater, uh, so far, have had very few issues on PS4. Yeah, the game's actually not in too bad of a place right now. There are some issues. Shots not registering. Um, hitting the animal, clearly, but not registering. Uh, there's a few other little ones. Nothing major. Let's go back. I want to see at the beginning if they actually give us a name. Do do do. They let it go for a long time when the stream starts, man. <laughs> I'm good for a couple minutes. <laughs> Holy. Wow. Ten minutes in. They had a lot of people coming in, though. They wanted to make sure everybody was there. Sparky says, I've got mad and stopped playing it, but I always go back to it. Yeah, I hear you, Sparky. It's happened to me. I took, I took a break. Uh, it happened at the time when I started work, so... It was a no-brainer for me, you know. Don't get upset with the game. Just pour yourself into your work. I had to, you know. A bunch of guys were dependent on me. If you guys don't know, my name is. We should get dogs for pheasants. Okay, that would be cool. This is Pepe. 
And uh, basically, That's, that, that would be very, very cool. Will Chris Lopez, we find out tomorrow they're going to give us a reveal. It'll be on social media. More importantly, to the point, you want to be in one place and get all the goodies? Come join our Discord. We'll have it posted right away. And there's going to be a great big discussion about it. I guarantee you, general chat's going to, go, well, it's always going off, especially in the mornings. Our coffee crew is lit. But they will give it to us tomorrow on when the release date will be. They have stated that they want it to be released on all platforms. And this is. Uh, Ponytus. Yeah. Ponytus. We're going to call him Pony Boy. I haven't met him yet. You introduced him. Yeah. That's uh, the new resort. So, should we, are we ready to spin around? Do you think we should let these yeah, guys have so, a little look, yeah, a little book? Just do going. it. Let's so, um, this, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, the new reserve. Quattro Kalinas. Hopefully, I said yep. that right. Quattro Kalinas. There it is. Quattro Kalinas. There we go. Kalinas. So, this is. Uh, yeah, like oh, I can just see it already. We're going to Quattro. Yes, yeah, sir. Like oh, I feel way too much pump over this. I'm way too excited. Like, seriously, um, I'm reduced yeah, to a giddy little schoolboy. Really like, I've got a big grin on my face. My beard's actually tickling me because it's all curled up right now. Right off the wings of the mustache. And I'm smiling too much. <laughs> it's uh, oh, man, it alive. Is, as per usual, roughly the same. Spot story. Hunter, hello, buddy. How are you? Yeah. Anthony Blair, hello um, and welcome. And welcome to all of our uh, our, our late covers. Anybody just coming in? This yeah. is the so new the map, Quattro, yes. <laughs> in oh, Spain. Oh, and yeah, it's got point, uh, a bunch a bunch going on with it. We got a new 6.5 coming. No, it's a boomstick. Yeah, Quattro. So the four mountains, as you can see. One, two, three, four. Four. Four mountains in the Quattro region. I love it. The fact that we have these biomes is just fantastic. We're going to see sheep. We're going to see we're going to see goats. We've got the red deer. We got the we got we got wolves. We got really aggressive wolves. The most aggressive wolves in game yet. There were they're apparently going to be way more choked at us than the wolves on the Yukon are. Of course we're going to have the roe deer. They're good for sighting in and blasting off a few rounds. Let's face it, they are kind of fun to shoot as annoying as they may be. They're the older kin to the must deers in my opinion. <laughs> uh, we got the European hares. Definitely going to have to take a look at them. I'm kind of getting interested in rabbits lately. All this talk about eating all of Chaz's rabbits. It makes me kind of hungry. So maybe we'll get a few more of those in here. Um, we've we've got... Uh, what else was there, guys? They're missing something. I'm missing something important. I'm missing something important. Anyways, they, I originally heard there was 10 species in total. But four of them are the Ibex, which they're talking about right now. All the four that are found in Spain, and I just think it's fantastic, man. I really, really do. Quattro Kalinas means four hills. Yes, that's right, Salir. That's what uh, TK was saying there. Four hills, and as we saw on the map, there was four different locations of them, so it's pretty cool. Having those biomes situated like that, that they can go up and down, and they apparently climb a lot steeper terrain now. So that should maybe, I don't know if that's going to get passed on to the other animals, because I know a lot of them, they too tend to get stuck on some of the rockier terrain. <laughs> Sorry, Chaz. Sorry. I mean, you know, of course. <laughs> Just like, we're coming to your house, and uh, you better get those things on the marinade. The wild boar. Thank you, guys. Jake and Clashin, thank you so much. Wild boar. Wild boar is the one that I forgot to mention. And I imagine they're probably going to be the same as the others. They'll be, a, you know, a, um, what are they, about 240-odd. That'd be decent. Sparky says he knows the feel. He's too excited for the maps and the animals. And rightfully, he just loves it all. Me too, man. Uh, and that's right, Ryan. We can't give her a break. That's right. Ha, Lynn Olsen's not afraid of the animals anymore because of tripods. The tripods are a lot of fun. I think they're going to be very, very useful on this map. I'm curious if any of these trees will take tree stands. Situated right at these fields? Like, look at the fields, man. Oh, so where we are right now, we figured this out. This is going to be, when you see them later in the video, where they're actually looking at it. And it's on the hill. Would this show it? They were just up there. That's where they were, on top of that monument right there. And was that the church, Mona? You, Mona was in earlier and she was commenting on the church. That might have been the church. They do show that at one point. Pretty, pretty cool, man. Oh, some swans would be a good addition. Yes, absolutely. Pike Master says, I think if people want turkeys, they should buy an Eastern, or they should put an Eastern American map with pheasants. Also, just my opinion. I agree. Okay. I fully agree. Yeah. 
I yeah, I, I think uh, an Eastern American map with Turkey. Uh, and I mean, it'd be, it'd be easy for them. They would really only be adding Turkey because we have everything else already in the game. Yeah. I think that would be great. But let's get through this map before we go into another. <laughs> right? Yeah, tripods would be great up on the mountains, Pike Master. I think it would be great. And once again, guys, as you can see, Matthew has gone ahead and put the Discord into the chat. If you haven't done so, make sure to come join, guys. Keep the discussion going. Make some new friends. Make some new hunting partners. Some new gaming partners. we got lots of games going in there all the time. And, uh, you know, hey, I don't know what to say. That's how you get involved, guys. It's all about the Discord. That's why we do this. It's about this community that we are building. Beautiful, man. I uh, I got to say, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I would love to know from you guys... You know, what do you think? Are you happy with this? Is is this what you were expecting? Does this does this meet your needs? I mean, it does for me because of the Ibex. I, I I'm so excited about the Ibex. Four different species. Goats and sheep, baby. But asking for it for quite some time. Max, we're gonna get the release info tomorrow. They're gonna do a reveal post. Uh, if you're in the Discord, we will make sure to post it for you as soon as it goes up, as soon as it is live. I suspect we're going to see it before Christmas. That's my prediction. Second or third week of December is what I'm hoping for. That's right, as Ryan says, join that Discord. We're all in there. Most of the people you see talking here right now are, in fact, in the Discord. <laughs> in fact, if Discord would let me, we could just do a stream in Discord, but you can't get that many people watching on there. They, they don't they don't support that much. But guys, if you just join us, make sure to do me a favor. Maybe it's your first time here. Hit that subscribe button. Tag the little bell beside it. Do it with two hands if you gotta. Don't forget to come and join the Discord. Oh, and um, the thumbs up. That's right. We're on the tubes. Give it the thumbs up. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Shows me you want to you want to see a little more of this. We've been doing streams lately, doing a, a lot more over on Twitch. Uh, but you know, I haven't been doing the standalone videos much anymore. You know, good. I see the thumbs up a lot. Get a whole bunch of them. Well, if the engagement's there, maybe that's what we do. I have tried to focus a bit on Twitch. Um, we just sort of got set up there and started pouring ourselves into it not that long ago. So uh, make sure to give us a follow. Twitch.tv forward slash Jack Where to run up, what ridge lines to go up and things like that and try and work out your viewpoints and things like that. That's right. Ms. Chaz. Ms. Chaz and Mr. Dylan are our newest staff members in the barbershop. They recently just got promoted. So you can always find them lurking around. Lots of fun. Uh, it's supposed to be coming out. Now, they said, I'm just going to throw this down here, uh, TH1. They did say that they are trying to get it released on all platforms at the same time. I'm not going to say that that's going to happen because it has happened in the past. In fact, once I remember Xbox got it before anybody else, then PS4, then PC. Uh, I forget, was that Africa? I think it was Africa. However, we have seen issues dealing with sony and microsoft now, we, do, uh, we all get tired of hearing that but it's truth of the matter um because they are putting out so many updates so often you know it's like well other games don't have that problem yeah but other games give you an update once a year twice a year these guys are doing it constant so they got a lot of hoops jumped through and it apparently takes time so hopefully it all goes well and we get it all together but they're going to give us that info tomorrow but i think the uh gritos has the thickest antlers is that right I'm trying to remember between, between yeah, them. Brett Dacker says, any content is great. Any content is great, but I can't say whether or not I'd rather this or an Australian map till I see what they would do for an Australian map. Yeah. That's a good point, They're Brett. Really that is a good point. I mean, the ruse in this game would look absolutely amazing, right? Right? They really would. And we'd have the goats. I mean, everything you see in classic um, on Bush Rangers Run, I think would be pretty amazing. I would love to see it. I really would. I'd still like an Australian map. Now that we got Spain, take us to Oz next, baby. Take us to Oz. North 5366 with the subscription. Thank you very much, buddy. It's great to have you joining us here. We got Justin HVN followed over on the Twitch. Greatly appreciate you. Cat Kid 89 thank you for the subscribe, buddy. Nice to have you all join us. You're one step into the community, guys. Now, this is where it all starts. But where does it all... I don't want to say end, but Discord is where it's at, my friends. That is where it is at. We might not be the biggest, but we are the best. Jack Spear, gotta run. Have a good one. All right, Spooky, Sparky. Sounds good. We're going to wrap up here pretty soon anyways. I really just didn't... Um, I couldn't resist getting this out to you guys and talking about it. I was going to make a video. I'm like, no, nah, man. Let's just do a shorter stream. Let's show off all the goodies. Let's talk about it. Then I get your guys' interactions. 
if I do a video, it's just, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm a stream guy. I really like streams. So I thought we would do it. And I want to thank everybody for coming out. You guys are amazing. We're going to uh, start getting ourselves ready to go. If there's anything else you guys want to put in chat that you want me to read, that you want to point out, make sure to tag me so I can see it a little easier. Um, it, it, it's greatly appreciated. And then we're going to head off for the day. Let's see, we're going to go down by Spurgy. Rich Davidson is not only am I happy with the new content, but I appreciate the developers for adding new great content to their game instead of having to extinguish community issues due to bugs and frustration. Yeah, you know, and, and I agree with you. I like that they keep it coming. They, they try to keep addressing all the bugs. You know, with every update, there's always bug fixes. They're always working on the bugs. Yeah, you know, and we have to remember yes, that. Sir. I fully agree with Fantastic. you, my friend. Mr. Killer Kong, my man with the super chat. He says, I'd love to see an Australian map also. Oh, with the big old cheer. So would I, buddy. So would I. It's one of my favorite maps on Classic. If any of you guys have played Classic, it's just great. Oh, hey, Chase, what's that? What's launching 100 feet? Probably me. When someone jumps into my tent. <laughs> oh, yeah. Feral goats from Australia would be great, Jake. I think that would be Fantastic. I wonder if there's a law that prevents them from putting different areas. Well, crazy, they, they got to be careful what they actually put out there. That's why a lot of these places are based on real locations, but fictional at the same time. What do you think about the gun, Mac Daddy? I love the gun. I think it's great. I can't wait to get my hands on it. Uh, I think it's nice getting more varieties for that for that weapon class. It's supposed to rival the Mosin. Will it replace the Mosin? I don't know, man. That's a pretty some pretty tough shoes to fill. Honey, honey with Bobby Nolan says, I want a Great Plains map with bison, pronghorn, mule deer, jackrabbits, coyotes, and pheasants. That would be pretty cool, man. I agree on all points. Top Taker Parnes, what's your opinion on your opinion on the new gun from what you've seen so far? Uh, yeah, as I mentioned, I think it's great. I, I'm really excited to get my hands on it. I think the sound is on point. It sounds a lot like the Mosin. It really does. But the modeling looks really, really nice. We'll have to see how it performs, and we will definitely test it. We'll, we'll take it out, and we'll check it. Uh, we'll do that live. You you know when it launches, we're going live. <laughs> if I can be here, we are live. And it's going to be great, man. We'll do it here on the tubes, too. And we'll definitely check out the new gun. We'll make her roll. Big Chow says, those are awesome looking. They are awesome looking. Um, oh, hey. And Hacker, add Romania. Now, that would be pretty cool, hey? Spot Hunter, was the new gun free? Uh, you know, I. that's a good question. That's a good question. Let's take a look here. Oh, 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 oh. I know that um, one of the guns they showed, it looks like we're going to unlock most likely through the story. Hold on. Did he just grab it? Okay, here we go. Not not free. Not expensive, though. Only 9500 bucks. So that's pretty good. But look, there's, there's uh, this variation here that is locked. That one... Which is fancy, holy man. It's got a nice look on the... Uh, oh, it just looks gorgeous. I would think that that one's probably through the storyline. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. Is this out yet? Gareth Frost, a turkey throat. No, not yet. We find out tomorrow what we're looking at for a date and time. We will keep you posted in our Discord, for sure. For sure. Uh, I expect... We're, I think we're going to have it for before Christmas. I really do. You are awesome. God, silly. You're awesome. No, you. <laughs> you are the best developers ever. They really are, Lynn. I, I love them. I think they're great, man. I really do. They're really approachable. They care. They care. They've listened in the past. They have. And they've proven that. Um, I, there's issues. And people will always have issues, obviously. But I think they're great, man. It's one of the reasons I still support the game. Because we've had to deal with our fair share of issues. Hell, I've lost half of my diamonds on my, on my history. Over half. You know, uh, I lost all my need zones. Spent a year in the making. A year in the making, man. Do you guys remember Diamond Alley? <laughs> oh, rip. <laughs> Moment of silence. Moment of silence for Diamond Alley. But here I am. We're still here. That's right, guys. It, it's You just got to support them. You got to love it. Because I, I do. I'm a hunter. I, it's what I... There's nothing else I would rather do in this world um, other than spend time with my family while hunting and and you know it's just what i want to do so that's why i'm always here uh, all right sounds good crazy right on buddy matthews once again posted the discord link make sure to click that guys come and join us ah uh, adios adios mona we'll see you again my dear thank you for all the info hey make sure to come and join us in discord mona love any insight you got on this coming up 
Chase Blankenship, I need some help. I got the tent, the ground blind DLC, but it doesn't give you just one ground blind. Is there a way to only take one? You're on PC. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, so you're, you're given some already. You got to go ahead and add them in your storage. You drag them over. So you only have to take one at a time. You can buy more. You can have up to, uh, they upped it. You can have 16 on a map now. So that's pretty cool. Any more problems, Chase? Discord, we'll help you out, buddy. You're going to hop on Call of the Wild? Absolutely. Killer Cog, beautiful, beautiful. Pike Master, I think this map will be good for now, but would like to see what they do for Australia. Yeah, me too, buddy. I really, really do. Nerdimus, it will take the Mosin out of my kit. Oh, yeah, I hear you, buddy. It might take it out of mine, too. <laughs> will the part of the map will cost money? I mean, the map itself, yes, it will. The DLC will cost money. Uh, to be between six and eight bucks, depending on your currency and where you're at. Same as the other maps, I would imagine. Uh, but, you know, it's pretty affordable for what we get, right? Lynn Olsen, this is a song that I used to that I use when I play the game. Do I have a song playing? There we go, ladies and gentlemen. The first, the I had to check because that happens sometimes. <laughs> if we were on Twitch, we'd have a little rock in the background right now. I ain't going to lie. A little bit of rock. It is an awesome spot. Gareth Frost, can thank you. I was checking Game Store for new download there. Lynn Olsen, I was near run over by deer this game. <laughs> that happens. Tom Taker Barnes, that's awesome. Helmet, are they giving us the release date tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah, it is awesome. They're giving it to us. I think it's beautiful, man. There's the twitch.tv link right there, guys, for Matthew. Go ahead and join that if you would. Godzilla, I wish I had a beard like yours. Mine is scruffy. Man, mine's getting too long. I'm going to have to trim it. It's getting way too long. It's uh, reaching the bottom of my chest now, which is just crazy. It's got to get a little bit shorter. It was bad in the summer. thing would just fly up into my, uh, into my sunglasses when I was on the Harley. It was brutal. <laughs> I had to, like, pin it in and wear a... A cowl and oh yeah, something else. I've never had it this long. I normally it was maybe a good. I don't know, three inches shorter is where I kept it. Still, you know, still hanging down quite far off the chin, but not like it is right now. It's biggest and bushiest it's ever been. It's crazy. Enjoy the Discord now. I'll see what's new. Right on, Pike. Beautiful. All righty, should go back to work now. Sounds good, Ryan. Fighting the flu, but really looking forward to this map. Nightmare Chamber. Sorry, you're sick, buddy. Chase Blankenship with the DLC gives you two, and I can't split it. Um, you can, there's different ones. You can do each DLC individually, or you can get like the 2019 edition that has a whole bunch of them. The Activa YouTube, hello, 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 and welcome, Karita. Hello, Karita. Good to see you. You're lurking. We're just getting ready to to, to uh, finish things up here. I've had a pretty fun stream. I just wanted to go through everything, make sure we we've, we've had a chance to answer everybody's questions before we go. But I think that's it, guys. I think that's it. As Chaz says, make sure to come say hello in the Discord. We can keep the conversation going. We get to know each other, get some friends. We can have some more people to hunt with, play games with, hang out with, share pictures of our meals with, silly little stories. And Oh, man, it gets goofy in there. Lots of fun. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you were as excited as I am about this new content that Expansive Worlds is bringing us. I am most excited about the sheep and the goats. I think it is absolutely fantastic. Guys, if you are as excited as I am, make sure to let me know if you're watching this video after the point in the comment section down below. Um, Killer Kong, did I mention that? Did I get your super chat, Killer? I think I did. He wants an Australian app also. I think that'd be fantastic. And Savage BIP just subscribed. Welcome, my friend. We're going to call it right there, guys. Uh, I... I I'll keep you updated. I don't know what else to say. I'll keep you updated. Make sure you're in the Discord. Uh, when this comes out tomorrow, we're going to be all over it. Thank you, my friends, for joining me. You're all absolutely amazing. Make sure to hit that like on your way out. Tag the little bell if you have already subscribed. If you haven't, do all the things and the stuffs. Join the places and do it all over there. Use a couple libs if you gotta. And I'll catch you guys later. Yes, sir. <laughs> all right, man. All right. That was fun. I got to admit, guys. That was fun. Better than making a video, you know. We get to hang out. I got no music to go out on. There we go. So, um, I got no music. We'll listen to the sounds of our good friend TK. About here, I think. Yes. Look about right. It does look about, about right. right. And make sure I don't die. I get full damage. Congratulations, guys. Uh -oh.